Are you excited for this next segment, Miranda? Why, yes, Miranda, I am. Don't worry, I'm just talking to myself. Dr. Brain says it's normal. Good job, Miranda. Come on, Crystal, you've got this. You are strong, you are smart, you are powerful. You can do it. No, you are going to fail. Nobody even likes you or brains or PhDs. No way, this is important. People need to know why we talk to ourselves. Just intro the segment. Hi, I'm Dr. Brain. Okay, my real name is Crystal Delworth, but I have a PhD in neuroscience, so it's just easier to call me Dr. Brain. So, I'm Dr. Brain! Do you ever talk yourself up before you do something new or scary? Does the voice in your head sound positive and supportive or negative and mean? The way we talk to ourselves can influence the way we behave and how we perform the tasks we set out to do. Science has shown that self-talk focuses our attention, improves our motivation, and helps us regulate our emotions. But what we say to ourselves has a huge influence over the outcomes of our behavior. Positive self-talk, where we embrace an optimistic interpretation of events, helps motivate us towards achievement, self-esteem, and growth. You can do it, Crystal. It's going great. Negative self-talk, on the other hand, mitigates risk. When we take a pessimistic or critical view, we're motivating ourselves to avoid negative outcomes like pain, shame, and rejection. No one even wants to learn about science stuff, Crystal. You should do a podcast about sandwiches. But it doesn't necessarily improve our outcomes. In one famous experiment, students were exposed to positive words such as smart, intelligent, and clever right before taking a test. Other students were exposed to negative words such as dumb, stupid, and ignorant. The students who were exposed to the positive words scored better on the test because their brain responded differently to mistakes and errors. And these small boosts can become big boosts over time. Remember, Connections in our brain are made stronger through use and repetition. The same way lifting weights strengthens our physical muscles, patterns of thought strengthen the connections in our brain. The stronger our positive thought connections, the more likely we are to focus on positive outcomes. Positive, optimistic people have also been shown to be healthier, live longer, and be more successful. This may be due to the fact that they experience less stress, depression, and anxiety and are able to see opportunities for growth instead of focusing on negative outcomes as fixed circumstances. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of problems in the world that we cannot self-talk our way out of, and bad things do happen. All emotions are information that your brain is giving you about your well-being, and they're all important. So the next time you get ready to do something new, scary, or difficult, try to focus on the positive outcome you want. Remind yourself about all the wonderful things about you, the things that will help you achieve your goals, and you'll give yourself the best chance of success. Wow, she really nailed that. Yeah, I learned a lot. Well, I'm really glad we all had fun. Bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe, and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.